Good day, good day. Welcome to This Cycling Life. What I'd like to talk to you about today is nutrition, um, not the kind of week to week, month by month nutrition of having a healthy diet, but actually specifically how to optimize your body weight in the days leading towards a competition. So what I'm going to be talking about is what is called the low residue diet. I've just finished reading a book, terrific book actually, by a guy called Nigel Mitchell. It's called Fueling the Cycling Revolution. Nigel is one of the most highly respected nutritionists in the world of pro cycling. He's worked with teams like Sky uh, and Education First um, and he describes the low residue diet perfectly uh, in his book. I highly recommend it. So what is it about? Okay, when you're heading into a target event and particularly an event involving climbing, you want to try to, of course, go into that event as light as possible. So earlier this week, I actually had a crack at a Strava segment um, in the Ardennes, the Côte de la Redoute climb. It's a climb that's often included in the Liège, Bastogne Liège cycle race, 1.9 kilometers long, um, average gradient of over 10%, but in sections over 20%. So I wanted to be as light as possible going into that climb. So what I did was I, in the three days before, I followed a low residue diet. Okay, now I do say three days before, this is not a diet you want to follow all the time because um, it doesn't provide all of the necessary nutrients and it's also pretty boring, okay? But what's it about? Okay, the first thing is in these three days before this target event, what you want to be doing is getting rid of as much of that fecal matter as possible, okay? So you want to be eating less of this kind of stuff, right? This stuff is great. Green vegetables, leafy vegetables, bananas and fruits, but there's a problem with this stuff. It's very bulky and it takes time for your body to digest, okay? So the research shows that for those of us following this healthy kind of diet, we can be carrying anywhere between 1.5 and two kilograms, up to two kilograms of this digesting food inside our bodies. And of course that extra weight, it's not fat, it's just that digesting food and we wanna to try to reduce that as much as possible, okay? So what do we do? In that three days leading up to the event, we switch out all of that high fibrous food and including high fiber breads and pastas and stuff like that, also very bulky. And we wanna switch that for much lower bulk and easily digestible carbohydrates. So Nigel talks about a great food, basmati rice, okay? Low glycemic index, which means it's a slow release carbohydrate, high water content and very easily digestible. So what does Nigel recommend? Basmati rice, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Maybe mixed in with some quinoa, which is also a very easily digestible uh, superfood. Um, of course though, that's gonna be pretty boring and you need to supplement it with some protein. So for breakfast, you can have an omelet on top of your basmati rice. For flavor, you can use something like a fish sauce or a soy. You can even have a little bit of mayonnaise because oils are okay, um, but don't overdo that. Uh, you don't want to upset your stomach. So that's what you do for breakfast. What do you do for lunch? Well, basmati rice. And on top of the basmati rice, you might have some, say, turkey hamburgers or some lean chicken. For dinner, what are we going to have? Basmati rice. And we're going to have with that maybe some fish, okay? Some salmon, some mackerel, um, some high oil fish because those um, omega oils, of course, also are very good for us. And we need the proteins to supplement the carbohydrate, okay? However, there's a bit of a problem with this kind of stuff. And what's the problem? We're missing out on all of those nutrients that we're getting with the green fruits and vegetables. So how do you compensate for that? Well, you go for some of this kind of stuff. This is called green superfood, and it is dried, powdered vegetables, okay? So actually very, very high in vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need but of course, low bulk. There's a problem though, which is it tastes pretty bad, okay? So you're not gonna just take spoons with this stuff, you're gonna mix it in um, with, with your food. Um, and if you are a softie, you do like a bit of flavor. There is something that comes to the rescue and that stuff also comes flavored, okay? So this is pretty much the same thing, green superfood. However, with chocolate flaving, you mix that with water, it's gonna give those nutrients that you need. Um, you can also, go for something like this, okay, V8. It's a vegetable juice, uh, again, very high in nutrients, um, but again, without the bulk and the fibers that you get with the whole vegetables. Um, 
don't overdo it, don't drink litres of the stuff, but certainly when you're on this diet, you wanna be drinking a couple of glasses of this each day to top up those vitamins and minerals that you need, okay? Now, there's another little bit of luxury here, and the luxury is before bed, you can take some natural yogurt, okay? The natural yogurt um, is actually relatively lower in lactose, so again, not gonna upset your stomach, easily digestible. You can have that with a little bit of honey. It's gonna um, give you a protein boost. It's also gonna help you um, sleep well. All right, so that's the low residue diet. Now, as I said, I, I followed that diet for three days before having a crack at the Le Redoute, uh Strava segment. Uh, my body weight reduced by about 1.2 kilograms. So I can promise you it works. A Little bit boring, but it works. How did I do on the climb? Well, actually, uh, I took my age group uh, fastest time for 2020 on La Redoute, uh last week. I also took uh, the top, well, just inside the top 10 fastest uh, time of all time um, for my age group. Uh, on the climb, I did an average of power of about 390 watts, which is just over six watts per kilogram. Um, but of course, that watts per kilogram number was certainly helped by the fact that I had reduced my body weight by more than a kilogram. So I'm a great believer in this diet. Give it a try. But as I said, do it in moderation. This is not a diet that you want to follow week in, week out, because it is a little bit uh, deficient in many of those minerals that, that I talked about. So when you do follow this diet, you do need to supplement it with the green superfoods or the products like V8 um, that I've talked about. But give it a try. Uh, I'm, I'm fully confident it'll help you reduce your body weight and perform better. So if you've liked this video, please do give us the thumbs up and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel.